everyone, Dr. Luke Peterson here, physical therapist with the Knee Replacement Therapist. In this episode of the Knee to Know Show, we're going to talk about femoral nerve blocks and what role they play in your knee replacement surgery. So today we're talking about femoral nerve blocks. And this is just one of the many types of analgesia, pain relief strategies that are utilized um, in the acute phases. So the short term day, couple days after your knee replacement surgery. And what this does is it's a technique that blocks the sensation and blocks the pain to the front kind of middle part of your knee. And what it is performed or how it is performed is either through a single injection or a continuous infusion of this medication through a catheter, a very small catheter. And what is done is with an ultrasound, so with an ultrasound to provide imaging, to provide guidance, the anesthesiologist will inject the catheter or the injection into your nerve, your femoral nerve, which is a nerve that starts kind of in this front part of your thigh and travels down and provides sensation to the front part and the middle part of your knee. And this is performed either just before your knee replacement surgery or just after knee replacement surgery. And typically it's accompanied with a local anesthetic. So basically some sort of medication is used to numb that area where they're going to do the injection or where they're going to place the small catheter. And so they have a local numbing, so it's not as painful when they actually do the procedure. And the pain relief, so what it does is it numbs the area around your knee, provides pain relief. And this can last for approximately 8 to 16 hours if you have a just one single injection. So if you're thinking about you have surgery typically in the morning and that's going to last that numbness, that pain relief will probably last throughout the day and then you'll start to notice it wearing off later in the evening or in the nighttime. With the catheter that can stay in and provide um, this continuous medication um, typically can be in there for one to two days and then it will last for a couple hours after that catheter is then removed. So for example, if you're in the hospital, they might keep it in just a little bit longer. Now, a couple of things to think about is this is gonna cause some weakness and it's gonna cause some numbness. So you definitely can walk after having the femoral nerve block and the vast majority of times you are gonna be up and walking that same day of surgery but it's just something to keep in mind is you're going to feel this numbness, you're going to feel this weakness in your leg and around your knee, and that might be from the nerve block. The risks with a femoral nerve block are relatively low. There are some low risks of bleeding, um, infection, or nerve damage that might occur, but again, with good surgical and technical procedures, these risks are relatively low. Um, Some other things to keep in mind is A lot of times you can receive what's called a three-in-one technique with your femoral nerve block. So in that case, you're actually blocking three different nerves. So the anesthesiologist will block your femoral nerve, a nerve that's called your lateral femoral cutaneous nerve, and then your obturator nerve. And basically, the goal of this is to provide a little more coverage of that numbness and that pain relief throughout your knee joint. And actually your sciatic nerve, the nerve that runs down the back of your leg, provides your sensation to the back of the knee. And so in some instances, if you need even a little bit more of that pain relief and that numbness, they can provide a nerve block to your sciatic nerve as well. But oftentimes, at least the femoral nerve block seems to be more and more common nowadays. Um, It's very good at helping to reduce the need for other pain medicines, so reducing the need for opioids, for morphine, other narcotics um, in that acute phase that same day or day or two after your knee replacement surgeries, which is, of course, very beneficial because heavy doses of narcotics and pain medicine are obviously very detrimental and carry a lot of risks with them. So 
that's an overview of the femoral nerve block, a very common aspect of your knee replacement surgery and just one of the many ways to help with pain management and pain relief in that early stages after surgery. Thank you very much for watching everyone. As always, be sure to subscribe so you catch all of our videos and have a great rest of your day.